This is one of my favorite pieces in the office. It's a finial from the Woolworth Building. From 1913 to 1930, the Woolworth Building was the tallest building in Manhattan. The Woolworth Building is one of the most beautiful buildings in New York City, in Manhattan. Real estate is in the DNA of this law firm because we were started as a real estate law firm and we represent so many real estate developers. The collection is really a tribute to the people that we've represented over the years and continue to represent. The collection uh, includes 79 pieces. And the collection was started in 1979 and our then managing partner, Ed Abramson, decided to do something quite different from other law firms to do something that was more focused on the kind of work that we did. So he started to collect these artifacts. This is actually my favorite piece. It's a six foot tall, true to scale model of the Empire State Building. It's made out of um, ribbons and spools of thread and it was made by a thread company that had an office in the Empire State Building. This copper uh, head was taken from the Hotel Commodore, which was on 42nd Street and Lexington Avenue. It is now uh, the Grand Hyatt Hotel, and it is owned by Donald Trump. It is really symbolic of how things were done in the past, how buildings were built in the past. So this is the ride board from the Coney Island Steeplechase Park and I guess it was from the 1890s to 1960. And if you look at this, um, this is a head of one of the horses from the steeplechase rides. I think this was the most popular ride in Coney Island. So how cute is this piece? Um, this is the IRT ticket box from 1904 and at the time uh, the fare to get onto the subway was a nickel, which is, I guess, a dollar in today's currency. This piece is a cast iron railing from the Police Gazette headquarters from 1883. The building at the time was actually a major attraction, and it was on the Manhattan side of the Brooklyn Bridge. And the building was uh, housed what was then sort of the Sports Illustrated of its era. So here is this crazy uh, street light with four lights. Uh, it is magnificent. It truly is beautiful, right? This one in particular is from 1940, and I think that uh, a millionaire decided to donate this street light to the city. And you could see that it's not just plain old, it's, it's beautiful. This is the most fun piece in our office. It is actually a chalkboard from 1910 from the Harvard Club, but of course every lawyer and visitor who walks through here mistakenly thinks that it is some sort of tracking system from the New York court system because of the court references above. It was actually a way of keeping score of squash games at the Harvard Club. I think this art collection and the display of the artifacts in it is incredibly important. I think art is important for life. And just because we're practicing law and making money, hopefully, uh, art informs life and makes your life uh, better and more valuable. And it is the kind of art that when you look up from the table or from your work, it reminds you that there is something practical something that is really the thing that you're working on. It's not just theoretical.